I really love the prologue of this film, and I, I was curious about how you conceived it and how much time you uh, you needed to put it together, the scene selection, and you know it was important to uh, show a little bit of Natasha's past. So how did you put together all that stuff? We worked with a company in New York, and we talked about that we had to create very quickly. Um, a history for the audience of what exactly the Red Room was, when it took place, what they were doing, and the sort of socio-political environment of the world at that time. And it was really beautiful putting it to the Nirvana um, song because it was like, you know, oil and water, I suppose. Yeah, and Eva Anderson's performance in that part was amazing. I really loved that part. <laughs> You had a very tough job with this one because, of course, it's it was Scarlett Johansson's last movie as Black Widow. So, what about you know uh, her first day on set and her last day? What what was that like? We were shooting in Norway. <clears throat> the first, the first. I've got a cold. Sorry, we were shooting in Norway, and um, so we were in nature. So the first day of shooting was really beautiful because it was just she and I. And it was very minimal. Um, so that was really great. And then the last day on set, she was shooting a fight. And she was with her stunt woman, Heidi Moneymaker, who's created all of those moves, those signature moves that we so relentlessly take poke fun at in this movie. So it's, it was really fun and emotional for Scarlett. Wow. And, you know, um, you gave the story a very unique sensibility I'm thinking about I'm thinking about the, the fireflies you know the, the emotional struggles the songs the memories so what's the thing you're most proud of about this project I think the emotion that people have reacted to it very emotionally and that they've they feel close to her when they watch the movie and I think that's what she wanted that Scarlett wanted and I think my greatest joy is that she, Scarlett Johansson's really proud of it. 